Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to have a go at drawing this uh, scene here, farm track, but using a very different medium to what I'm used to using. We're going to have a go at doing it with this metal point, which is uh, there's a Zeki lead tin stylus there, and we've got a Zeki uh, two millimeter silver point stylus there. So we're going to do this drawing on a gesso panel with these uh, materials. And this is the clutch pencil which I use for the silver point stylus. Fits in there quite nicely. How I make my gesso panels on plywood. There'll be another video coming out soon about that uh, process. So this is the, the gesso panel and the, I start with the lead tin stylus and you just press quite lightly and build the uh, drawing up thousands of tiny little scratches so that you're cross hatching in different directions and there you can see the photograph I was using as a reference, it's the farm track. You've got quite a lot of freedom, you can play around with this and you just build it up with, and see that I'm doing a circular motion. So it's a mixture of, uh, sort of you're scratching onto the surface but you're not taking any of the gesso off, you're just laying this metal on the top. And it just takes uh, quite, quite a long time to build it up very subtly. But the more, obviously the more marks you make in one area, the darker it gets. building up the darker areas with this uh, the silver point. Lots of little scratch marks, you've got, got quite a lot of control over that. Like where I applied the gesso with, with a brush, you see it picks up the uh, brush marks from there and I quite like that. Quite similar to how I use charcoal really. But there I'm just, I can uh, with charcoal I can uh, put in an overall tone by sort of, uh, soft blending and smudging. Here it's just, you can't do that with metal point, you're just doing lots of scratch marks. So you're cross hatching. If you're familiar with like a cross, -hatch, cross hatching ink technique, the pen, that's this is a, virtually, this, it's quite similar actually. And that's the book I uh, bought, which has been a great help to get me started on this metal point lots of good tips in there how to prepare your panels and your, your surfaces how to uh, you know, sharpen your implements things like that and some ideas for sort of uh, trying out to get different tones and now you can see how the uh, metal point is affected uh, over time with the light uh, exposure it gets slightly darker Here's a close-up, you can see the brush marks of the, of the gessoed surface. They're running diagonally across, I'm just working into them now with the silver point. And over time, with thousands of little scratches, it just uh, starts to build up and you, you start to get a, a picture appearing. Add it side on there, you can see that it's, it's quite like pencil, it goes quite shiny in the light because I've got a light on the side there for the video, and that's what you can see reflecting against that silver point. Mm. 
we can use a blade to scratch back the layer is to re just gently to reveal lighter areas again that we may have lost during the drawing process. This is a Stanley knife blade, a craft knife blade. And here I'm just sort of uh, bringing back the puddle in the track by gently taking off the, the metal point and going back to the uh, white gesso which had titanium white pigment mixed in with it. And I worked up right on an easel so I can video the process easier. It may, it may be easier actually to work flat on a table so you can, you can get more pressure with the metal point. But for video purposes I did it on an easel on the easel so it was easier for me to film like this to give you a good view of what I was doing. Here, how scratchy that surface is. This is just so, uh, and the plywood. So the plywood's got some you know, grainy texture, and the gesso adds to that, and that's what the scratchiness is. That's what's scratching onto the uh, surface. Just building up some of these trees now to give us an idea of where they're going. A little bit more defined with the uh, sort of solid tree trunks and bigger branches, and then we can play a lot more and be freer with the thinner branches at the top. That's the close-up of the uh, scratch marks that you can see there. Very mess-free actually, not like charcoal, dust everywhere. It's very, uh, and pencil you don't get grubby fingers from smudging, there's no smudging and uh, so it's quite a nice process but just it's quite time consuming. So you could use all sorts of things with this. You could use paper clips, a, na a, a nail, zinc nails, you know, felt nails, anything really that's uh, got metal in it. Experiment with different uh, metals to draw with and uh, see what marks they make. Really quite good fun. Did this over two days. We were into the second day. Obviously, a cup of tea goes down well. Give you a chance to have a little think about what you're doing and stand back regularly to see what you've done. And this is, I didn't have a, a stone sharpener, so I had to use a bit of uh, sandpaper just to sharpen the silver point from time to time so I've got more of an edge on it, especially for these thinner areas, which I'm doing here with the uh, twigs at the top of the tree canopy in this winter scene. Yeah, when, when I want to make a more defined, harder mark. I hold the pen, the clutch pencil a bit closer to the tip. 
so I can get more pressure, which makes a, a darker mark. few more scratch marks just coming in here to uh, redefine areas of light where the lights catching areas on the lower track there where it's partly in shadow but you've got some sunlight just creeping th into it and on the sides of the tree trunks too where you've got some sort of like ivy growing We see there's the ivy you can see that on that the trees on the side catching the light and the puddles in the track so just redefining some of the, the branches there and just darkening up an area here in the foreground with some more uh, scratches at random angles and pressure This is what we ended up with. You can see there's uh, thousands of little scratch marks, sort of scratches applied. I call them scratches, but not actually taking anything off the gesso. We're just putting uh, metal marks onto it. And you can get quite dark areas in there, which has surprised me. I didn't think you could go quite as dark as that. So it's been quite a nice learning experience, this one. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching that uh, different video for me. We'll try another one with a different subject matter in, a, in the future and uh, see how we get on. And please leave your comments in the comments section. Uh, see you next time. Bye for now.